The First World War was one of the most terrible events in human history, ushering in a new style of industrial warfare which caused the deaths of tens of millions of soldiers and civilians, wounding and rendering homeless tens of millions more. During the war, hundreds of artists lent their talents to convincing their fellow citizens to fight for the cause, to celebrate victories, and to denigrate the enemy. While the posters and other illustrations that they produced are well known and have been reproduced countless times in studies of the war, one important artistic medium has been mostly overlooked, and that is the metal. Born in the Renaissance, the metal was at first a durable portrait medium meant to enhance the prestige of those elites depicted on the obverse. In time, however, the metal became much more, serving as a tool of state commemoration and political propaganda. By the time the First World War began, the metal had also become a standalone art medium, art for art's sake, one that served no commemorative or political function. Programs in the US and Europe were set up to teach art students how to design and execute metals, and centers like Paris and New York City hosted major exhibits of their work. Considering how prevalent the metal had become by 1914, it's no surprise that during the war, tens of thousands of different types of metals were produced. Some promoting the war, extolling military leaders and attacking the other side, but others much more poignantly lamenting the awful losses suffered by everyone involved. The war began a hundred years ago this summer. As part of a larger international effort to remember the war and to document material related to it, the ANS is launching a new website which will serve as the first comprehensive catalog of the war's medals. Initially, this site will present the ANS's own medals, roughly 1,500 of them, but will continually add more material from outside our cabinet. This site will enable users to search for individuals and topics such as major battles and political events, and to learn more about them through maps and links to Wikipedia entries. Besides serving to organize this vast body material, the site will allow students and researchers alike to view the conflict through the particular lens of the metal for the first time.